In the annals of Earth's history, the Mesozoic era often dubbed the Age of Dinosaur stands as a time of colossal creatures and epic battles for survival. Towering giants like Tyrannosaurus rex, the massive Titanosaurs, and the sail-backed Spinosaurus dominate our imaginations, their sheer size and ferocity cementing their place in paleontological lore. Yet, amidst these behemoths, one diminutive family of dinosaurs carved out a legacy just as fierce, not through brute strength, but through cunning, speed, and a weapon unlike any other. Meet the Dromaeosauridae, or as they're more popularly known, the Raptorsa clan of feathered, agile predators that thrived from the Middle Jurassic to the twilight of the Cretaceous. And among them, one name reigns supreme, Velociraptor mongoliensis, the swift plunderer of Mongolia. This is the story of how a turkey-sized terror became a global icon, reshaping our understanding of dinosaurs and captivating hearts through science and cinema. The Velociraptor's journey to fame began not in the lush jungles of Hollywood, but in the sun-scorched sands of Mongolia's Gobi Desert. In 1923, a team of paleontologists, led by Roy Chapman Andrews of the American Museum of Natural History, unearthed a remarkable find in the Jadokta Formation, a crushed but nearly complete skull paired with a menacing, sickle-shaped toe claw. At first, the researchers mistook this small theropod for a member of the Megalosaur family, a group of larger carnivores. But as more specimens emerged, the truth became clear. This was no ordinary dinosaur. It bore the hallmark traits of a dromaeosaur, a short, T-shaped frontal bone, a unique quadrate bone in the jaw, and, most strikingly, a modified second pedal digit, the iconic claw, that would define its legacy. The creature was christened Velociraptor mongoliensis, a name that translates to Swift Plunderer of Mongolia, inspired by its sleek, agile build and carnivorous prowess. Little did those early scientists know that this name would one day echo through lecture halls, movie theaters, and playgrounds worldwide. The Velociraptor was small adults measured just 1.5 to 2.07 meters, 4.9 to 6.8 feet, in length, stood 0.5 meters, 1.6 feet, at the hip, and weighed a mere 19.7 kilograms, 43 pounds, compared to the 3,600 kilogram, 8,000 pound, T-Rex, it was a lightweight. Yet, what it lacked in size, it made up for in lethality, speed, and intelligence, traits that would propel it to stardom millions of years after its extinction. Fast forward to 1,990, when author Michael Crichton penned Jurassic Park, a novel that would redefine how the world viewed dinosaurs. Crichton faced a choice. Which raptor species should embody the cunning, pack-hunting predators of his story? He considered Deinonychus, a larger North American dromaeosaur, but ultimately chose Velociraptor. Why? The name, he said, was more dramatic. This single decision catapulted the Velociraptor from obscurity to international fame. When Steven Spielberg's 1993 film adaptation hit theaters, the Velociraptor became a household name, its chilling screeches and piercing eyes haunting audiences worldwide. But Hollywood took liberties. The movie's Velociraptors were depicted as 1.8 meters, 6 feet tall, and 2.7 meters, 9 feet, long closer in size to Deinonychus than the real Velociraptor. They hunted in coordinated packs, stalked prey with almost supernatural intelligence, and lacked the feathers that science now confirms adorned their bodies. Most famously, the film suggested Velociraptors coexisted with T. rex in North America, a dramatic flourish that ignored reality. In truth, Velociraptor lived 75 to 71 million years ago in what is now Mongolia and China, while T. rex roamed North America some 5 to 10 million years later. The two never crossed paths, but their fictional rivalry cemented the Velociraptor's place in pop culture. This newfound fame came with a cost. Misconceptions about the Velociraptor's size, behavior, and appearance persist to this day. Yet, these inaccuracies sparked curiosity, driving scientists to uncover the truth about this remarkable creature. And what they found was even more fascinating than fiction. The Velociraptor was a marvel of evolutionary engineering, a predator built for speed and precision. Its skeleton was a study in efficiency, light, 
slender bones provided strength without sacrificing agility. The leg bones, particularly the elongated shin, allowed for long strides, suggesting bursts of speed up to 64 km per hour, 40 miles per hour, faster than a professional cyclist. A stiffened, fused tail acted as a counterbalance, enabling sharp turns and stability during high-speed chases or combat. This wasn't a lumbering giant, but a sleek, darting hunter, perfectly adapted to the semi-arid dunes and sparse streams of its Gobi Desert home. The Velociraptor's arsenal was threefold, each weapon honed for maximum impact. First, its mouth. The snout was long relative to its body, housing an array of short, razor-thin, recurved teeth with serrations stronger on the back than the front. These were ideal for gripping prey and tearing flesh. Studies estimate its bite force at 304 newtons, comparable to a Belgian shepherd's, impressive for its size but insufficient to crush bone or kill larger prey outright. Instead, the mouth was likely used to snatch small, fast animals like lizards or amphibians, or to feed on already dead carcasses. The second weapon was its hand claws. Velociraptors had large, flexible hands with three curved claws, the second digit being the longest. These claws, resembling those of modern birds, were used to grasp and slash prey, anchoring the raptor during a struggle. A famous fossil, dubbed the Fighting Dinosaurs, captures this in action, a velociraptor locked in combat with a protoceratops, its hand claw gripping the herbivore's head. But the velociraptor's true trump card was its sickle-shaped toe claw, a feature so iconic it's synonymous with raptors. Each foot had four digits, but the second bore a 6.5 cm claw proportionally massive, equivalent to a human wielding a 20 cm knife. This claw was curved, sharpened, and retractable, lifted off the ground to preserve its edge. Unlike other theropods, velociraptors walked on their third and fourth digits, a unique adaptation that kept the claw pristine for hunting. For years, Paleontologists debated how this claw was used. Jurassic Park popularized the idea of velociraptors slashing open prey's bellies, a gruesome image that captivated audiences. But the fighting dinosaur's fossil told a different story. The velociraptor wasn't disemboweling the protoceratops, but stabbing its neck. The claw's razor-sharp tip piercing vital areas like the jugular vein or trachea. This caused rapid blood loss or suffocation, a precise and efficient killing method. The fossil also revealed the claw's inner edge was less sharp than assumed, designed for piercing rather than slicing. This discovery reshaped our understanding of raptor hunting tactics, proving they were surgical strikers, not reckless slashers. The Velociraptor's home was a harsh, unforgiving landscape. During the late Cretaceous, the Gobi Desert was a semi-arid expanse of towering sand dunes, punctuated by fleeting streams and oases. The climate was warmer and more humid than today, supporting a diverse ecosystem. Velociraptors shared their world with dinosaurs like Protoceratops, Oviraptor, Pinacosaurus, an ankylosaur, and an undescribed Tyrannosaur, alongside turtles, crocodiles, and early mammals like Zalamdalestes. This was a land of opportunity and danger, where survival demanded versatility. Velociraptors were primarily active hunters, using their speed and claws to pursue a range of prey, from small lizards to larger herbivores like protoceratops, but they were also opportunistic scavengers. Fossil evidence shows velociraptor bite marks on protoceratops' skulls, targeting areas with little meat, suggesting the raptor arrived after the body was picked clean. This flexibility switching between hunting and scavenging likely helped velociraptors thrive in lean times, such as during dry seasons or when injured or old. Their senses were finely tuned. Studies of velociraptor skulls reveal an endocranium capable of detecting frequencies between 2,368 and 3,965 Hz, ideal for tracking prey by sound. Comparisons with modern birds and reptiles suggest they may have been nocturnal, striking under cover of darkness to catch prey off guard. This nocturnal edge, combined with their agility, made them formidable predators in a crowded ecosystem. One of Jurassic Park's biggest misses was the Velociraptor's appearance. Far from the scaly, reptilian monsters of the films, real Velociraptors were feathered, their bodies covered in a plumage that likely ranged from downy fuzz to long, 
quill-like feathers on the arms and tail. Fossil evidence from related dromaeosaurs like Microraptor and Zhen Yuanlong confirms preserved feathers and a Velociraptor arm bone with quill knobs attachment points for feather seals the deal. These weren't flight feathers. Velociraptors were flightless. Instead, feathers may have served multiple purposes, insulating nests during brooding, boosting speed on inclines, or signaling to rivals and mates in social displays. But social life wasn't all harmony. Velociraptors were fiercely aggressive, even toward their own kind. Fossils reveal brutal evidence of intraspecific combat. Bite marks on frontal bones, infected wounds, and fractured ribs suggest fights that ended in death or severe injury. These clashes, likely over resources like food or territory, were intense, with raptors thrashing on the ground, their claws and teeth inflicting devastating damage. The Gobi's harsh environment, with its scarce streams and seasonal droughts, probably fueled such conflicts, pushing velociraptors to fight for survival. Contrary to Jurassic Park's pack-hunting narrative, evidence for social behavior is scarce. No velociraptor fossils have been found in groups, suggesting they were solitary or, at most, loosely associated hunters. This doesn't diminish their lethality alone. A velociraptor was a force to be reckoned with. For millions of years, velociraptors roamed the Gobi, their speed and cunning making them apex predators of their domain. Yet, their reign ended abruptly. Unlike many dinosaurs wiped out by the catastrophic asteroid impact 66 million years ago, velociraptors vanished earlier, between 75 and 71 million years ago. Why? The answer remains elusive. Some speculate they evolved into another dromaeosaur, like Adasaurus, or succumbed to environmental changes in the Gobi. Whatever the cause, their physical presence faded, but their legacy endures. The Velociraptor's story is a testament to the interplay of science and storytelling. Jurassic Park may have gotten the details wrong, but it sparked a global fascination with dinosaurs, inspiring generations to explore paleontology. Today, each new fossil find refines our picture of the Velociraptor, revealing a creature more complex and awe-inspiring than any movie monster. Its feathered form, surgical hunting style, and resilient spirit challenge our assumptions about what it means to be a predator. From the sands of the Gobi to the silver screen, the Velociraptor's journey is one of discovery, myth, and revelation. It's a reminder that greatness doesn't always come in large packages. With its blazing speed, deadly claws, and feathered flair, the Velociraptor was a predator without equal, a swift plunderer that ruled its world and continues to captivate ours. As science peels back the layers of its story, one thing is clear, the Velociraptor's legacy is far from extinct. Until the next fossil find, keep exploring the wild, wondrous world of dinosaurs.